This is a project management tracker which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, in left hand side, we have got all the tasks, means total of all the tasks completed, in progress, not started and total. And on the right hand side, we can see total overdue. In the mid, we have got the graph of task owner as well as task team, means total of tasks of owner as well as team. Just below that, we have got our data. In our data, we have got task ID, task name, department, task owner, start date, due date, total duration of task, status, overdue. And in the end, we have got comments. Once the data will be updated over here, the dashboard on top will get updated automatically. To create this format, we need some data. For that, I have created my setting sheet. In setting sheet, we have got status, owners, department and total overdue. This will be fully formulated. Let's go to dashboard and let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. Over here, we have got two sheets. First one is settings and second is our dashboard. Over here, we will be creating our dashboard. In blank columns, we will be inserting the formula. Over here, we have got start date and due date. I'll select both and we'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to date. We'll select a desired date format. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. And our date format got changed. Let's come to task duration. I'll be inserting the formula over here and the formula will be plus or equal to due date minus start date. And I'll hit enter. And we got total duration as 19. What will happen if I'll delete due date from here? We got some random figure. I'll undo this. We'll double click on the formula. We'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open due date is equal to blank. For blank, I'll be inserting double inverted comma twice. Comma. If due date will be blank, in return, I want blank. So I'll be putting double inverted comma twice once again. Comma. If this criteria will not meet, in that case, I want due date minus start date. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I'll drag this down. So over here, we got figures and we are not able to understand these are hours, months, days or years. So I'll leave it selected from top to bottom or let's select the whole column. I'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to custom. We'll remove general from here and we'll put has space double inverted comma days double inverted comma close. I'll come down and we'll click on OK. And we can see days just after our figures. Status. In case you want to create drop down over here, it can be done very easily. I'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data tab on top. We'll come in the center. In center, we get the option of data tools. Inside data tools, there is an option of data validation. I'll select data validation from here. On top, we can see three things, settings, input message and error alert. We have to go in settings. Inside settings, we can see allow and just under that, we can see any value. I'll click on drop down and we'll select least. Source. I'll click over here and we'll type in progress, comma, completed, comma, not started. I'll click on right hand side. We'll come down and we'll click on OK and our drop down list got created. Perfect. I'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home tab. We'll come in the right hand side, conditional formatting. I'll click on drop down, highlight cell rule. We'll come to right hand side and we'll select equal to. We'll click over here and we'll type not started. By default, we get red color. I'll click on OK. And all the terms or all the words not started got highlighted in red. We'll select the whole sheet once again. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rule. From here, I'll select equal to. This time I'll type completed. We'll click on drop down and we'll select green fill with dark green text. We'll come to right hand side and we'll click on OK. And completed got highlighted in green. Now we have to highlight in progress. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to. And this time I'll type in progress. We'll come to left. We'll click on drop down and we'll select yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll do OK. So all the status got highlighted. Now let's come to overdue. This will be formulated as well as dynamic. 
I'll be inserting the formula over here part wise for better understanding. Let's insert the formula plus or equal to today. Bracket open, bracket close and I'll hit enter. And we got today's date. I'll align this in center. Now I'll double click on the formula. We'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open due date is smaller than today. If due date will be smaller than today, in that case, what I want? I want overdue. So I'll be putting comma, double inverted comma, overdue, double inverted comma, close. And if this criteria is not going to meet, in that case, I want blank. So I'll be putting comma, double inverted comma, twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got overdue. What will happen if I'll drag this down? If the task is completed, then also I can see overdue. I'll undo this. We'll go on top. We'll double click on the formula and we'll come in the very beginning. And we'll insert one more criteria of if. If bracket open, I'll click on status, but the status is not visible. So I'll click on task duration. And by the help of right arrow key, I'll come to first status is equal to completed. I'll put double inverted comma completed double inverted comma close comma if the status will be completed in that case i want my sales to be blank so i'll put double inverted comma twice for blank comma we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter let's drag this down and the status which is in progress or not started we can see overdue we'll select the whole sheet we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and over here, I'll type overdue. By default, we get red color. I'll just click on OK. And all the word or the term overdue got highlighted in red. Now let's come to setting sheet. We will insert our formula over here. Status completed. So I'll be using the function or formula of countif plus or equal to countif bracket open range. I'll be going to my dashboard. We'll come to right hand side and we'll select all the status from top. Means I'll select the whole column. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged, comma. Criteria, I'll be going to setting sheet and we'll click on first status. It's not visible, so I'll click on header and by help of down arrow key, I'll come down. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got total count as five. I'll drag down till not started, total. Let's insert the formula of sum plus or equal to sum. Bracket open. I'll select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. In case you want to put some color over here, it can be done very easily. Owners and their task count. Over here also, I'll be putting the criteria of count if plus or equal to count if. Bracket open. Range. I'll be going to my dashboard. And this time I'll select all the task owners from top to bottom. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged, comma, criteria. I'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on first owner. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got total count of owners. I'll drag this down. Department and their count. Over here also I'll be using countif plus or equal to countif. Bracket open range. I'll be going to dashboard and this time I'll select all the department from top. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged, comma, criteria. We'll go to setting sheet. We'll click on the header and by down arrow key, I'll come down. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll drag down my formula, overdue, plus or equal to count if, bracket open, range. I'll be going to dashboard and we'll select overdue from top. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my range will be logged, comma. Criteria, we'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on overdue. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got total overdue as eight. So all the formulas got inserted in setting sheet. Let's go back to dashboard. Now I'll be coming on top and we'll be inserting two extra rows. We'll right click the mouse, insert. We'll insert one more row over here, insert. Now I'll click on row number two and we'll increase the size. 
we'll take row number 3 closer we'll click on b2 and we'll select till end we'll go to home tab and we'll merge the cells now i'll be creating dashboard over here we'll go to insert tab we'll come in the center illustrations and from here i'll insert a shape i'll select rectangle with round edges and we'll click over here and my shape got inserted we'll position this on top and in left and we'll drag this till end as soon as we had inserted shape on the top we can see shape format we'll come to left shape fill i'll click on drop down we'll come down gradient we'll come down and we'll click on more gradients on the right hand side new window popped up i'll select gradient fill from here let's change the color we have got three stops over here i'll take the first stop to left hand side and mid stop to left hand side perfect now i'll close this we'll go to shape format and from here i'll remove outline means no outline and this is our shape i'll click on shape we'll press control and we'll drag it down and copy of shape will be created we'll resize the shape we'll increase the size little bit more we'll press control and we'll drag it down so copy got created now i'll press control or command and we'll select both the shapes we'll press control and we'll drag it to right so all the shapes got created we have to create more shapes let's come to insert shape from here i'll select rectangle or square and we'll click over here we'll double click on the shape this will be completed we'll click on the edge we'll go to home tab we'll come in the center and we'll change the alignment center and in mid we'll resize the shape we'll take this to left hand side and we'll place over here we'll press control and we'll drag it down we'll resize the shape we'll click on the shape which we have inserted right now and we'll delete completed from here now i'll select both the shapes means the shape what i have inserted right now we'll press control or command and we'll select the shape of completed now i'll press control and we'll drag it to right we'll drag it over here as well as over here perfect so first one is completed let's come to second one we'll delete this this will be in progress let's come to third one this will be not started and the fourth will be total now i'll come to completed and we'll click on the shape we'll go to formula bar we'll put plus or equal to we'll come to setting sheet and we'll click on completed we'll press enter and we got 5 over here our number is in black color let's change the color let's do as white i'll change the font style we'll do as arial black and we'll increase the size let's come to in progress we'll click in formula bar plus or equal to we'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on in progress enter we got 7 now i'll click over here we'll go to formula bar plus or equal to we'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on not started enter now i'll come to total we'll go to formula bar plus or equal to we'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on total and we'll hit enter now i'll press control or command and we'll select all the numbers we'll change the font color we'll change the font style we'll do as arial black and we'll increase the font size as per our requirement perfect we'll leave it selected we'll go to shape format shape fill from here i'll select no fill outline no outline perfect so this part is done now i'll click on top we'll press control and we'll drag it down means i'll create a copy we'll resize this we'll place it on top and we'll increase the size we'll press control and we'll drag this to right we'll take this to right and we'll increase the size little bit more we'll press control and we'll drag the shape one more time so our copy will be created we'll resize this now i'll come to left hand side we'll select in progress as well as the count that is 7 we'll press control and we'll select both now i'll press control and we'll drag this to right so copy got created let's take this to extreme right hand side we'll click outside we'll drag 7 at bottom we'll click on in progress this will be overdue we'll go to home tab and we'll change the font style as arial black we'll increase the font size we'll increase the shape now overdue got visible 
I'll place this on top. Now I'll click on 7. We'll go to formula bar and we'll delete this. We'll put plus or equal to. We'll go to setting sheet and we'll click on overview. We'll hit enter and we got 8. We'll leave this selected. We'll go to home tab and we'll change the font style as Arial Black. We'll change the font color. Let's change the font style once again. Arial Black. We'll increase the font size as per our requirement. We'll increase the size. Let's adjust font size once again. Perfect. So overview is 8. Let's go on top. We'll double click over here. This will be project management tracker. We'll click on edge and we'll align this in center as well as mid. We'll change the font style. We'll do as Arial Black and we'll increase the font size. Perfect. Now we have to insert our graphs over here. Let's adjust the size a little bit more. Now I'll go to setting sheet and I'll select owners and their task count from top to bottom. We'll go to insert tab. We'll come in the center. In center we get the option of charts. In the very beginning, I check recommended charts. So I'll be going to recommended charts. And over here, I have got three recommendations. In fact, we have got more recommendations over here. I'll be selecting the third one, means this one. I'll resize this and we'll place on the left. Now I'll select department and the account. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to insert tab. We'll come in the center, recommended charts. And this time I'll select the first one. So both the charts got inserted. I'll resize this also. We'll come to very first chart. In the mid, we can see light gray lines and these are our grid lines. So I'll delete all the grid lines. We'll delete grid lines from here also. We'll delete the numbers which are on left and we'll delete the numbers over here which are at the bottom. Delete. So the header of this is owner's task. So I'll delete count from here task dash owner. We'll come over here. We'll delete count. This is task dash team. We'll click on the header of second graph. We'll go to home tab and we'll change the font style as Arial Black. We'll come over here and we'll change the font style. We'll put as Arial Black. Now I'll click on the graph. We'll right click the mouse, add data labels. We can see data labels over here also. I'll right click the mouse, add data labels. We'll leave it selected. We'll go to format, shape fill, and we'll select a desired color. Over here also, I'll change the color. Now I'll right click the mouse, format data series. New window will pop up on right hand side. We can see gap width. I'll reduce this. Now I'll come to task of team. We'll click on the graph and we'll remove the gap width. We'll close this. Now I'll come to first graph and we'll cut this. Control X or Command X. We'll go to dashboard and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll resize this as per our requirement. So I have already resized. Let's go to setting once again. This time I'll cut this. Control X or Command X. We'll go to dashboard and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll resize this. We'll resize this as per my requirement. So both the graphs got inserted, but the shapes which we have inserted in background is not visible. Now I'll click on first graph. We'll go to format, shape fill, I'll do as no fill. From here we will remove the outline, means no outline. Text fill, I'll do as white. Over here also I'll be going to format, shape fill, no fill, outline, no outline. Text fill as white. One more thing is pending, I'll come to left and we'll click just before task ID. I have clicked just before first task ID. I'll be going to view tab. We'll come to right hand side and from here I'll click on freeze panes. My panes got freezed. If I'll come down, then also my headers as well as dashboard is visible. We'll go on top and our project management tracker is ready now. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.